Today's date is 8th of May, 2024. We commence the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic Committee Mezag, Simon Yepam, and the Biafra's cabinet, the Biafra government all over the world. Right now, we want all the Biafrans to pay a very good attention because our Prime Minister is life once again. And right now, <laughs> Asu Rock and Nigerian government are panicking. Something expensive, something mysterious is about to happen again as the decorations of Biafrans continue. As the unstoppable and unquenchable decorations of Biafrans continue, all the Biafran government have gathered once again. Right now, do you want all the Biafrans all over the world to pay a very good attention and are ready to share these information going on right now? The Prime Minister is live again. Make sure you are sharing so that the Biafrans who have not participated will also participate in this ongoing project that Chuku Ogiko Biyama is pushing higher and higher every day. And don't also forget to drop your experience in the comment sections below. Uh, Chuku, Chuku Meze, please uh, grab the mic in 60 seconds and ask your question, please. Yeah, thank you, um, my Deputy Information Minister. Um, greetings to my um, Honorable Prime Minister um, and every minister on this space and all well-meaning and true lovers of freedom. Um, my Prime Minister, my question goes like this. I just I want to ask this question so that um, to those who are still acting in naive, naivety and those who think that what we are doing doesn't concern them, you understand? Of course, we genuinely be our friends and who are part of the struggle, who follow toe to toe, know the reason why because we have a template. I just want to I just want you to consider this for clarification out there. Um, I want to know why we insist why you insist for the drug law to, to be alive up to October. And also, of course, we know we are trying everything to make sure that we destroy the economy of the zoo and also to bring them down to their knees. So anything that will bring them down or put them in confusion is welcome. And also, what if it happens? You understand? What are the, what are, how are we gonna change the dimension of what we are doing to make sure that we get Biafra? before uh, December 2nd. Thank you, my Prime Minister. Well, whether it happened or whether it didn't happen or it don't happen, we are getting Biafra or we are declaring Biafra December 2nd this year. The reason why um, we have to pray so that uh, he will stay alive by magic or whatever means till October is because we have our own plan too, which we are not going to make public. So, that plan is good if anything happened from october but that is not to say that if it happened now that uh, we are not going to it's not going to work for us but everything that happens now is going to be for our advantage that is just a fact but just like we are praying for the one not to die in the same way i would like that we pray for the official bad not to die until october the one one is december right uh, that will say, may God protect him till December. Uh, the same way I am asking that we pray for him, for this criminal, not to die till October. Thank you. Oh, thank you, my Prime Minister. And um, please, I'll just be quick in five seconds. So, for the terrorism, um, Shatima, why is he so scared to go for the summit since we all know that the military of the zoo has been infiltrated by terrorists? There's no genuine soldier in the zoo. All we have is terrorism. So I'm thinking maybe it should be comfortable. Even if he go, they're still on the same page. No, no, Why no, is he no, so no, scared? No, 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 no. <laughs> you don't know. What, <laughs> you know that one also is a dead cop. Is a is a cop walking. Believe me, that one is a cop walking. So all of them are going down. As I, you see that uh, pig from the creek as he was a wheelchair. That is the same. Everything has happened to all of them. All of them are going down from A to Z. So he himself don't want to be in that place and something happen because they know he is not capable at this point. Health-wise, 
is not capable. Just like the the ogre, just like the pig in the creek, all of them are down. So he rather stay back and let his, his people guide him on what what to do if something happened. That's why he didn't go. Believe me. So, but we are we are following them, bomber to bomber. We are not uh, giving any breathing space. Like I've always told them, I am more closer to them than they can ever imagine. Thank you. Thank you so much, my Prime Minister. I mean, your days be long. Thank you. Say, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, PM, thank you so much, sir. Uh, Chukuma, you can re return to the listening mode. Uh, please, uh, Will Smith, grab the mic and uh, ask your question, please. 60 seconds, please. Good evening, my Prime Minister, sir. I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak. First of all, I will congratulate you. And I want to pray that What happened to you, uh, Ekweme? I don't hear you. Ekweme, I can't hear you. Am I the only one that is not hearing him? We can't uh, hear him. I think uh, we lost him. Okay, we lost you, Ekweme. Try and get a better network, uh, please. All right, uh, get a better network. Uh, Queen B, you've been struggling to come in, unmute yourself. Let's see if you have a better challenging question. Unmute yourself, please. Queen Beauty. Queen Beauty. Okay, you are not even ready. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, Queen Beauty, you're not ready. Okay, success, you're back. You're welcome back. Um, uh, Ayan Wachema. Please unmute yourself. Ayan Wachema, please. Hello, good evening. Good evening, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead, we can hear you. 60 seconds, please. Okay, good evening, all dear friends. I also want to use this opportunity to greet our Prime Minister, the Obatu B1, Ikuki himself. Um, Prime Minister, I have a question for you. And uh, my question is going to this way. Last time you tweeted and uh, you tell your cabinet to get ready in, in 98 hours that you'll be declaring Biafra if there is a coup in Nigeria. And uh, you made us to understand that you have a template and you are following your template. Then my question is, if what you ask your cabinet to get ready, is it not going to destroy or distract your template? That is my first question. Second question I want to ask is uh, what you are saying Let me, saying address, that let me should... address this one before you go to the second one. If it is going to distract my templates, I wouldn't tell them to get ready. That is to show you how preparedness we are. So we are prepared to face any situation that comes along the way. Thank you. Okay. My second question is this. Sometimes I don't understand you because last time you told us that uh, we should pray for go on and now you are telling us again to pray for tulumbu when we know that these people are, are a thorn in our flesh and they are our critical enemies and you are asking us to pray for them to live let for me i wouldn't have prayed for them to live even up to one minute or two minutes from now that is why but you are asking us to pray for why, that is why you will never understand the things of the spirit Go ahead. Okay, let, let me let me finish up because yesterday you were in Asia and uh, you quoted a portion of Bible that uh, suffer not your uh, wish to live. But here you are telling us to pray for those people. Please, I want you to explain in detail what are your reasons you, you ask us to pray for these people. That is my question. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. All right. So, the reason is very, very simple. Uh, like, I, you know, a lot of people are interested to know why. I will not explain 
a deeper reason because that is something that I don't want the enemies to know. But the most important thing is that you must know that we have this template which we have to follow somehow and only when it becomes necessary that we are going to do something prematurely when it is not the right time to do it. But above all, we are not going to make the enemy to push us into that premature action. So if the reason also that made me to be exposing the planned coup, which was the reason that the coup did not take place up to this point, because those planning it don't know how I'm getting those information. And so everything that they plan, I come to say it because I want to truncate that particular plan until when the right time come, when I know that we are ready, and that is from October. So, and I will not tell you here the reason, the reason, because some of them are already issues. So I will not tell you the reason, but you should just be okay with the answer I've given to you. That October, it, I'm not saying that they should leave for, they should leave. I'm only saying, pray for them to be, pray for him to be alive till October. And on the issue of Gowon, I said, pray for him to be alive until December. So that he will see, he will see the, and the witness, the, the declaration of the restoration of independence of Biafra. That's the reason I formed the committee to be praying for Gowon to be alive in December. So after December, if he dies, then we thank God for that. Thank you. Thank you, uh, PM. Anyangwa, uh, Chief Major. Uh, thank you, and uh, it is good you're curious and you've asked your questions. But I want you to know that um, behind the map we have more. And so when the PM is telling you to pray, pray. And that God has a way of answering our prayers. If it is the will of God that they don't proceed and cross that date, you know, God will answer the prayer the way it will be best for their part. We have a template and we're working on our template, just like the PM told you. And if you have believed him that everything I've told you has worked out so far, I see no reason why you should doubt that everything will also work out in the next uh, uh, months in our favor if it happens the way we have it in our template. But you understand that you have a make with him more. If it happens whichever way, it is always a win-win for Biafra. And that you should be rest assured of. And then your doubt shouldn't be that Biafra will come. Your the conclusion is that Biafra must come, and the prayer is that it happens, you know, for the best for us and uh, smoothly for us also. And that's the template the PM is telling you. So if it happens the way it was in October, it means that you are gonna be in a better place to celebrate. So count it all joy whenever the PM gives you such uh, instruction. Bless you. All right, we hand over the microphone right now to you, Ekwerima uh, Emekus Emeka. Please, 60 seconds, bring your question. Yeah, good evening, Bia France. I'm it's my pleasure to be here once again. It's been long I've been on live program like this, but am I coming out well? Live and clear. Okay, I'm um, greeting everybody, success, Ralph. And our uh, able prime minister, but to be uh, so my question goes this way I don't have you know, much question anyway, but as the Q plotters are planning, both the Hamas leaders, the FFK, as they are doing their things that way, the way they want, I know that my able prime minister has his own plans the way he wants it, but there is this one particular thing I want to ask. Am, am, are we are we on the that whenever the make this their plan or this their cube of 18 or as we declare our biafra on december 2nd is is every biafra land especially the villagers the inside the village is every community only percent like does any community have any command of bla that's my question so i'm don't be annoyed for my question but i'm just like you know bother because in, in my village i have i am today now in enugu state mostly i near the west my brother got arrested yesterday night and one of my brother also was slapped on his ear and even today I'm still treating him but is there any way we are working on everything but we pray that when we declare this Biafra everybody will have the opportunity to do what they want to do all my enemies will go down because I'm only percent ready to take whatever it is to take my enemies down so thanks thank you very much 
the Biafra Liberation Army are in strategic places, which we are not going to mention which are these uh, strategic places. And uh, you know, a few weeks ago, I've been posting some kind of uh, pictures and mentioning state command, where these pictures are uh, coming from. So we have a strategic places that currently are uh, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, currently hosting the Biafra Liberation Army and Biafra Resistance Fighters. And that's all I can say for now. Thank you. Thank you, PM. Thank you very much, sir. And I'm sure you are satisfied with that answer uh, very much. Thank you. All right, please. Uh, you're welcome, uh, Jaga Gosson. Please uh, grab the mic, Simon Ekpa Ikuku. The gentleman, please. Uh, okay, thank you, and good evening, my ministers. Good evening to every uh, lovers of freedom here, and uh, to my prime minister. May your days be long. Uh, my prime minister, I have a question to ask you, uh, but let me just lay the foundation before asking my question. My question goes to the during the time, the time of our stream leader, Ojuku. Ojuku laid the course on Go One. And um, today we can see that uh, course manifesting to his, uh, to the uh, maximum uh, this thing, efforts. Ojuku is, uh, our, Ojuku is our external leader. Uh, external leader, I mean, sorry. Um, and um, um, talking about the powers in you, we, we, have, um, we can give testimony to it um, during the time of uh, DOS. Um, he made a, pro a pronouncement on them, and um, today nobody is uh, hearing about them. You also made the pronouncement on the Ohanes and Debo. Today they are falling apart. And you also made the pronouncement on the dreamer um, in Biafra land. I forgot his name. Uh, what what is he called again? Uh, the guy who normally see in his dreams. Uh, and today nobody he dreams no more. Sampe, Sampe Master. Yeah, Sampe yeah. Master. Thank you. Thank you. Prince Sampe Master. Prince Sampe yeah. Master. Yeah. And um, today, in the person of uh, Musa, we are seeing another God one. And um, I want you to take time to cause that Musa not but don't include these people because why i say that uh, you should not include these people is uh, today i can sincerely feel sorry for the uh, people of plateau uh, go one have uh, proven or have been a case study that shown that uh, he don't have feelings or any love for his people in plateau state or in middle bed and today musa is taking the same position can you please play course on Musa and any any individual who is um, who is supporting him in the atrocity that is committing in the Biafra land? Because Musa, seeing all that have happened in the that is happening in the Middle Belt, Musa refuses to learn. And uh, Musa don't have any remorse for the uh, people of uh, Plateau State or Middle Belt or other Middle Distant. Musa is just like um, uh, Gowan, second Gowan, or a person like uh, Pitobi, who always see what happened to, uh, in, uh, who always have, um, um, who always show this um, um, fake, uh, this thing, uh, fake, uh, um, uh, what should I call it? To outsiders, but sympathy. Yeah, sympathy to outsiders, but um, never felt to speak on anything that happened to his people. Ahanes uh, and have also shown that they don't have any love for 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 our people. 
um, uh, hope Uzodima is in also in that category. Our Prime Minister, I want you to take time to lay a katakata course on these people so that it will be on the history also. That is what I want, I am begging you, because these people have done enough and they are still doing. They don't show any remorse on what they are, the evil they are doing. Please, sir, let me just beg you on this, uh, this because these people have shown, have proven to be evil. That is all I want to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, uh, uh, whatever we do uh, is not uh, physical and not ordinary. So when his time comes, he will receive his own blessing. Thank you. Ikoya Leju, Ikoya Leju, you are not buzzing here. Thank you, my peer. All right. Jaja, I can uh, see your, good your beautiful hand uh, up there. Please, Jaja, grab yeah, my Jaja. Prime Minister. Yes, yes. Uh, people, people who are so much eager and is speaking for our prime minister to start making pronouncements on uh, on individuals. Uh, please, uh, our prime minister is dri driven by the spirit of Chuko Kabiyama. Look at the person that called himself the wife of our leader. We did not say anything. Prime Minister warned him one year ago. Do not fall for their uh, trick. Do not come there and say anything. Only there was no cause, so only an advice. Look at the confusion today. So do not uh, uh, spend our uh, onions up to come and start uh, telling someone you'll be this, you'll be that. He will warn you, and whenever he warn you, and you refuse to hear, then you become like the head, the, the ear, who refuse to hear. When they are cutting the head, the ear also follow the head to the, wherever they are going. So, our Prime Minister's warning is a curse. Our Prime Minister's warning is a blessing. So take it from that. Thank you very much. As the icing on the cake. Thank you so much, uh, Mazi Success. Thank you. Jaja. Please uh, grab your mic, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, our own Honorable Prime Minister, Mazi Simon Bambeji Ribuago, Dilos in Odohanko. Mahanche Kwetagono, our own Deputy Minister of Information, the only pastor Van Van Van, uh, I salute sorry, you from sorry. here, and my brother sources. Hold on, Jaja. Hold on, PM is saying something. Hold on, Jaja. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Before you continue, uh, sorry to interrupt you. Before I forget, I just uh, listening to to um, um, sources. You see, uh, one thing is that I want everyone to just uh, reflect on what has happened in this trouble. <laughs> Everybody should just think. Uh, uh, take your memory back. The day this criminal called a geophone came to give a college to his fellow criminal guy, I made a national broadcast, warned him, gave him line by line, warning, and then after that, he came again. He said, It is going to be the mother of his position. And he was going to be this mother of his position with Igbo language. They advertised it, advertised it. I was watching them. After he made that uh, mother of his position, and then I knew that he was actually ready uh, you know, to fight. I came online live and say his own is finished. He should go and mark it. Today, where is he? <laughs> the thing is that everybody should understand that if God's hand is not in this, we will never defeat all these monsters. 
But today, all of them are gone. Just bring out your head as a monster against Biafra. One pronouncement, you are gone. I am telling you the fact. You will do tika 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 tika. One, one week, two week, you are gone. Nobody will hear from you again. You all know that uh, some people we are on social media, Simon Ekpa, every day and night, every day and night, Simon Ekpa, Simon Ekpa, uh, uh, the, uh, the office in the Baltimore in United States, Biafra office is fake, uh, scam, uh, we call the owner of the house, uh, nothing like that here. You know, people will have, you know, you know, one thing about uh, our people is that they forget things very easily. They went and pulled the flag down, I laid course on him. Where is he today? They say, oh, and they were praising the way they pulled the flag. Our own flag. A lot of people say, uh, go and arrest them, arrest them, they must stop. I say, don't worry, that is the way I handle my things. They say, oh, if we find out that this is true, we will apologize. Because when devil enters you, you are gone. When you allow devil to enter you, you are gone. And just like devil did to, just like God did to Pharaoh, he handled this criminal's heart. They were on social media. They went to Bruce Fenn. Bruce Fenn is old. He came and right. Hey, Nandikano is this. Masi Nandikano is that. Oh, he's not so. <laughs> I want him. <laughs> Where is he today? Where is he today? Go to his Twitter. If he posts anything, whether anybody is liking it or, or reposting it, go there. Go there. Or like before. Where is he today? All of them from A to Z. Because the spirit of Biafra is in control. Is in control. That is if you are a Gibi. Up as size 14. Size 14 EB. Can be a first pretty now. Oh, call girl. Can you hear me? When they talk about uh, protesting, is it not the same people calling people in Finland? They were protesting against Simon Empire in Finland. Oh, hey, somebody is calling. Yes, frontal lobe. Frontal lobe. <laughs> it's the parasite. <laughs> what is happening today? If I open my mouth again, <laughs> here again maybe, because there are things we know that nobody know. There are things we know. There are things that I know that if I open my mouth to say it, hey, <laughs> oh God, about this Delilah, you know, but let it be like that. <laughs> I say that after all those the nonsense, I'm not going to talk. Uh, highest one week, before next week, nobody will remember, uh, you know, nonsense she said. <laughs> so, my people, we walk in the spirit, and uh, once you understand that, you just allow it to flow. We are very, very focused, and our eyes remain on the rising sun. What we should be doing is to Make sure that our people are voting. We are expecting at least nothing less than 10, 15, 20 million votes before October. Because everybody is voting. I am talking to you today, we already have five, over 5 million votes. Over 5 million votes. So why, so why can't we have 20 million? Because the people that boycotted the Nigeria uh, fraudulent election are uh, more than 20 million. We will smoke everybody out. I want you to understand that you are going to vote by phone. Call, pick up your phone and call. The numbers are there. The voting card is being distributed. You must vote. And it will shock the world in Finland. Thank you.